Hey Puppy Pan, welcome to my let's play of Little Kitty Big City. You can find a full playlist at the end of the video or in the description below. Subscribe for more content like this. Episode 4 First Fish So, where to go next? Let's, let's look at this. Get back home, find Chameleon, and for that we first have to go to the construction site. Now, oh, look at that. There's, there's shinies up there. Oh yeah, of course we also could just try to get more shinies. <laughs> Come on, get up there. You can do it, kitty. That doesn't work. Why? Why wouldn't it? Oh, it works after all. Nice. More shiny. Um. Oh, even more shiny. Oh. <gasps> But thank goodness we are a, we are a cat. Cause any other animal would have seriously in the Oh, we can we can wall jump. We already can wall jump. But I don't think it's much use to us right now. Let's let's get out of here. Careful with the water. Can I somehow get rid of that? Dog. How many shinies do we have? Oh, we have twenty-five sh shinies. Let's let's get to the crow. Um, it's here. Yeah, it should be right around this corner. Hey, crow. Are all of these shinies? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! So shiny, so pretty, so reflective. Who's a pretty crow? Are you disposing of them responsibly? Uh, yes. And with that, we have completed our first heroic act together. Can I try disposing of them? Definitely not! These are ancient crow rituals. Well, do I get my reward? Yeah, what? Oh, yes! Your reward! Now, where on earth did I see that fish? Uh, just a minute. Wait, crow? Was this a scam? Where did he go? Oh, but. Here! Fish! Whoa! A fish! This should give you some climbing energy. Not enough to get all the way home, but it's a start. Where would I start climbing? There. You're going to need more fish to make it all the way to the top. Do you have any more? Not right now, but I've seen them elsewhere in the city. Just keep your eyes open and you'll find them. Thank you. No worries, enjoy the fish. Oh, and keep hold of any shinies you find out there. I've just had an idea. Mmm, eat. Oh, nom 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 Fishy. This delicious fish has given you the energy to climb ivy. Give it a try. I feel so much better. Let's go climb some ivy. Yes. Oh, yeah.
That's awesome. I, li I like this. That's a that's such a cute idea, right? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Adorable. <gasps> that's. I think that's an African goose. Ah! Hello there! I wonder if you could provide some uh, urgent assistance? I think it depends on the problem. Eh? Oh, I see. Quite right, quite right. I don't want to alarm anyone, yet it's a rather pressing concern, although perhaps I'm just panicking, but there's no two ways about it. Um, about what? Oh, uh, didn't I say, I seem to have mislaid my ducklings. Mislaid? Is that a bird joke? I don't follow. Never mind, missing ducklings sounds pretty so serious. It does, doesn't it? What happened? Well, we were all enjoying an educational tour of the neighborhood. Me teaching the youngsters some local history, etc. For example, you know the robot statue in the park behind us? <laughs> Wait, did the robot take the ducklings? Oh dear me, no! That would have been rather out of character. You see, the robot is quite fascinating. Not a statue in the traditional sense either. Legend has it that a wise duck, not too dissimilar from myself in fact, would visit the park every day with his robot friend. Very loyal, robots, delightful. Back then, it, this was a lake, hulking great wet thing where the pair would swim. Splashing and frolicking, you know the sort of thing. But robots and water, eh? Eh? All that fizzing and sputtering? Not sympathetic at all. Rust patches, wet circuitry, exploding knees. The robot, not the duck, I mean. The robot's swimming days were over. Terribly sad stuff. So he asked the duck to change his programming. Quite the feat, if you ask me. He could never get my head around computers myself. The duck helped program the robot to wait in the playground while the duck swam. Great idea, that. And it went beautifully. But... One fine day, probably much like this one, truth be told, the duck was attacked by a radioactive monster. Wait, a monster? Gekku! Usually Gekku is our protector, you know, breathing fire, saving orphans, charity galas, lovely chap apart from the rampages, really. Rampages? Oh yes, humans write those up in little paper documentaries, very engaging, really. Paper document? Do you mean comics? So, Gekko kidnaps the duck and, whoops a daisy, throws him through a star portal. Whoosh, quack! Never to be seen again. And the thing we mistake for the statue in the playground is actually the loyal robot waiting patiently for his friend to return from his swim. Um. <laughs> I'm not seeing how this relates to missing ducklings. Oh no, it's just a great story. I shared it with the ducklings before we split up to find more neighborhood stories for a little show and tell session. Show and tell? That sounds fun. Eh? Oh, yes, I thought so. Anyway, we scampered off in different directions. All very exciting in the moment. But, uh, uh, and I suppose this is the crux of the matter, really. I didn't set a time or place for us to reconvene. Aha. Wasn't sure what to do for the best. Not really a practical duck, you see, but I didn't want us to be rushing around missing one another. Dreadful when that happens. So I retracted my retraced my steps and back here and waited. No luck? Alas, no, but you seem like a practical sort of cat. Very resourceful. So could we team up? I'll keep watch here. We're kind of enjoying it really. And you've got the city? The whole city? It seems pretty big. Hmm, you're right. There must be a way for us to narrow down our search. Eureka! We made a city map just last week. Marvelous thing. Part of a project to catalog all the different fish hotspots in the city. The ducklings marked each of their favorite places on it too. 
Such enthusiasm for maps, and I bet that's where they will have gone. Here, you take it. My orienteering skills are dreadful, but you'll be able to track them down in no time. We got the Ducklings map. A map made by the Duckling. It's really good. Press this button to view the map. Drastic, you're on the fish marker. I can't see what interest they would have to be a kitty. Uh, unless you're budding ichthyologies, of course. Oh, wait, wait a second. We have a map now. And, and it has fish spots. We want the fish. What a great map, indeed. Oh, that's shiny. Give me shiny. <gasps> Where's my friend? We, 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 have to, we, have to, we have to find my friend. Um, down here? Yeah, down here. Friend? Oh, there he is. Frederick. I would never forget you. All right. So. Let's put Frederick down here for a second. And we will not forget him. Ow. Okay. Nothing back here. Just making sure. Come, Frederick. Mm, could try to get another bird feather. That's a shiny over there. Oh, look at me. Gotcha. Oh, what's this? <laughs> uh, that 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 was that was weird. Grab all the shiny. Oh, oh no! Oh, I, I was, I, I forgot for a second that I'm a cat. Meow. Oh, oh wow! I think I found a duckling. <laughs> Look at him go! Uh, what's it playing? Oh, it's Duck Fighter. Look, look, look! What are we looking at? Only one of the greatest games of all time! Uh, are you old enough to be watching this? My dad says I have an old soul. Speaking of your dad, he asked me to come and collect you for the show and tell. Sure! That was easy. There must be a catch. I'll go as soon as the screen stops showing things. And there it is. When will that be? No idea. I think it's looping, so it might never end. I see. But if the screen goes dark, do you promise you'll come back to your dad? Ducklings or no? No, 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 oh, I, I already, I already had it. Yeah, I can walk up here. Also, get that shiny. It is very, very important that I get all the shinies. And I suppose I can get up to this pipe. I cannot. There are several... Um, leaks in the pipes? Come on. Yeah, the, the jumping is a little janky, but... Can I, like... No, I can't. What about the CCTV? Can it... Oh, what's this? I have found something. 
Is that a, a valve? A water, water valve? Okay, that... Now, in here, the camera really gets confused. <laughs> yeah, I, I need that. That's important. Yeah, I can't pull that. Come on. That did the trick. Hi! Whoa! Are the walls supposed to be sliding around like that? Oh, are the walls supposed to be sliding around like that? Definitely not. Oh! When I blink I can see purple shapes. I think some time away from that screen is a very good idea. Shall we get back to you? Shall we get you back to your dad? Okay. I can tell him about all the new combos I saw M. Bilson do. Let's waddle. Oh, look at that animation. <laughs> that, that little bandana. <laughs> there we go. Ah, water relief. Wait. This isn't the full brood. That's the sort of thing my partner tends to notice. Should I leave them here while I carry on the search? No, I'll, I'll help. Let me help. You can stay with the catty as long as you promise to behave nicely. I promise. Hmm. A kitty being followed by ducklings reminds me of a story I heard as a youngster. Quite the epic tale that was. You see... Psst, kitty, let's go. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Seems like you know your father quite well. Now, next duckling. Mm. It, there seems to be a street behind this shrine. Ow. Look like I can get up the bamboo. I might get up here. Now the question is, can the duckling get up there? Probably not. This way might help. <laughs> oh, what's this? Crow? Kitty! You look like the kind of cat who enjoys a stylish accessory or two. Is this a trap? Definitely not. Okay. Well, if that's all, I guess I'll see you around. Unrelatedly, have you heard about my new and glorious business venture? Uh, it's called Shinies for Hats. You're selling hats now. Absolutely not. But it's literally called Shinies for Hats. Aha! Uh -huh. That's the clever part. I'm not selling hats. I'm selling access to hats. You see, the hats live in these little pot machines. And you, a helpless kitty, do not have the secret wisdom needed to use these machines. I'm not a helpless kitty. Now let's not quibble over who called whom helpless. <laughs> not, not when there are heads at stake. Only I, Crow, can perform the ancient Crow ritual of inserting a token and turning a knob. That doesn't sound so diff Which brings us to business. My proposition is as follows. Five shinies lets you hire, hire one Crow, that's me, to retrieve one hat. So you are selling hats. No! I'm a facilitator operating within a geek economy framework. With a business called Shinies for Hats. Yes, but only because Shinies for access to crows who have access to hats tested poorly with consumers. And to use this business, I pay five Shinies and get one hat. 
You're missing the subtle economic genius of my idea. I am the head gatekeeper. Mm. Look, do you want a head or not? Yes, please. Here you go. <laughs> I can be a grapes. <laughs> I love this look a whole bunch. Okay, so I can I can get hats for shinies. Or the other way around. I can I can give shinies for hats. So let's get more get get more shinies. Hey. Oh, a Rubik's Cube. Oh, can I solve it? Thank you for watching my let's play of Little Kitty Big City. If you think I earned it, you can subscribe to my channel. It would be very much appreciated. Leave a like and share the video with your friends so they can watch it too. I also stream on Twitch. You can follow me on twitch.tv slash wastelandpuppytv. See you in the next episode and I wish you from the bottom of my heart a day 